Well, on this first day of Division Series Baseball here, um, um, on this Saturday, October the 7th, uh, first game today was the Rangers at the Orioles. Texas won 3-2 to two over Baltimore. Uh, Josh Young hit a home run for Texas. Andrew Heaney got a no decision today. And um, Corey Seager went one for three with two walks. And um, Anthony Santander did homer for the Orioles. And um, it was just a rough day for Baltimore. The defending champion Houston Astros beat the Minnesota Twins 6-4. to four. Old friend Carlos Correa went 2-4. for four. Royce Lewis did hit a home run, and so did George Polanco. Um, Justin Verlander got the win going six innings with uh, six strikeouts, and uh, Ryan Presley got the save. Jose Altuve and Jordan Alvarez hit home runs today for Houston. And Alex Redman scored twice. And Jordan scored three runs. And um, and and the Phillies, the defending NL champion, shut out the Braves, three to nothing. Bryce Harper, the uh, NLCS MVP from last year, hit a home run and scored twice. Trey Turner scored the other run. And Bryson Stott and JT Real Muto also knocked in runs as well. And the Phillies, it was a bullpen game, and they, they really dominated. And Craig Kimbrell got the save against his former club. Meanwhile, Ronald Acuna Jr. went 0 for 3 with a walk. And Matt Olson went 1 for 4. And Spencer Strider pitched well, but not good enough. And the Braves suffered their first loss. For the home loss in, all, in over two years. And the top home run hitting team was completely silent today. And unfortunately, the Arizona Diamondbacks beat the Dodgers 11-2. to And Evan Longoria on his 38th birthday went 1-4 for four with two RBIs. And Alec Thomas, Tommy Pham went 4-5 for five with a homer, scored three times. Corbin Carroll hit a home run, knocked in two runs, the likely NL Rookie of the Year. And um, Merrill Kelly beat the Dodgers for the first time in his career, going six-plus six innings. And for the Dodgers, Will Smith went two for four and knocked in both Dodger runs. Freddie Freeman and Mookie Betts both scored. Mookie Betts, the birthday boy, of course, went one for three with a walk. Of course, Evan Longoria turned 38. Mookie Betts turned 31. Clayton Kershaw suffers his first, his worst loss of his Hall of Fame type career and gave up six earned runs. And his ERA is 162 which is 162 games in the regular season. And um, Emmett Sheehan pitched the bulk of the innings. Shelby Miller kept the Di Diamondbacks off the bases. But Vessia and Grove and Sheehan and Kershaw all allowed home runs tonight. And you know it's only game one. And... Uh, history but um, the Lakers lose to the Warriors 125-108 in a preseason game meanwhile UCLA won and, and it looks like USC's coming back and they play a lot of their football games late and um, but yes unfortunately unfortunately it happened And the Trojans have one quarter left. 
and they lead 27-20. Wow. Yep. David Peralta had a double against his former team. And, um, yep, so it looks like SC might be coming back in this one. There's 5-0 and right now. Then they play Notre Dame next Saturday, and in two weeks they play Utah. And, um... It is kind of hard to believe that um, that it happened to the Dodgers and the Braves. And um, I, I guess the bye hit three of the four. The bye was really a nightmare for the Braves and the Dodgers and the Orioles. But the bye doesn't seem to bother Houston. And um, who knows? The Astros might repeat as World Series champs this year. Something that hasn't been done in more than two decades. And in my opinion, I think the Brewers should fire Craig Council. The Brewers could never get things done in the playoffs because the Dodgers have owned the Brewers during the regular season. And the Brewers just fell flat to Arizona. And I mean, we don't want to, want to repeat from last year when the Padres just embarrassed us the last three games, but... We got Bobby Miller pitching on Monday for game two, so I think game two should help us and see if we can try to tie it up 1-1 and try to win at least one game in Arizona. And, and, and then let's see if the, if the Phillies can continue their momentum too as they look to repeat as NL champs maybe. So, Like I said, the best teams don't always win. Look what happened to the Mariners in 2001. When they won 116 games, they lost to the Yankees in the ALCS. The 1906 Cubs lost to the White Sox in the World Series. So, I mean, anything can happen in a short seat playoff series. I mean, look, 1988, we were the underdogs. We weren't expected to beat the Mets in the playoffs. We weren't expected to beat the A's in the World Series. And we weren't even expected to win our division in 88. So... And look at the Angels in 02. They were also a Cinderella team. They weren't expected to beat the Yankees in the division series, and they weren't expected to beat Oakland or Minnesota if, if in the LCS either. And look, they beat Minnesota, and then they beat Barry Bonds and the Giants in the World Series, so anything can happen. The 2001 Diamondbacks were almost a Cinderella team, too. They beat the three-time defending champion Yankees in 2001. So, And they beat a really good Cardinals and Braves teams in the playoffs. So, like I said, anything can happen. Regular season numbers don't really matter. So, well, that's all I got to say right now. Well, both the birthday boys, Betts and Longoria, played against each other tonight and Longoria came out the winner unfortunately so I will catch you later have a good night remember may the best team win win or lose it's the Dodgers I choose win or lose it's the Lakers I choose peace out